Hi third grade, it's still uh, Thursday, April 2nd, and I want to go over some workbook pages in our reading workbook. So please get your Journeys workbook out, and I'll be going over the assignments that we're going to be working on today. So I'd like you to go first to page 99. At the top of the page, it says we're using the prefix non. Now that prefix means not. It's another way of saying that we are not something. So we're going to read each question and add the prefix non to the underlined word and write the new word. Use the new word to write an answer to each question. So number one says, a cat is a living thing. What is an example of something that is not living? And for an example, I said, you could write, a rock is a non-living thing. We've had living and non-living things in science. We know that living things, if they were ever alive, they're considered living things. But if they were never alive, like a rock, they are non-living. Number two. Violent storms, such as tornadoes, can occur on the prairie. What kind of storms are not violent? And I said, rain showers are nonviolent storms. So I used the word nonviolent in that sentence. Number three, you're going to finish the sentence, but I'm going to give you some starters. Anna and Caleb are productive when they do their chores. During the day, when are you not productive? And I said, when I am resting, I am, and I would fill that in with, non-productive. You might say, when I am playing Outside, I am non-productive, except you're getting exercise. Um, when I am watching TV, I am non-productive. When I am sleeping, I am non-productive. You're not producing any work. Let's go to number four. Caleb could not stop talking to Sarah. What is something you would like to do and not stop? Hmm. I said... I would like to eat ice cream. You finish. Or write your own. Number five, Sarah Plain and Tall is fiction. What is your favorite book that is not fiction? My favorite blank book is a biography or biographies are my favorite blank book not fiction but you're going to use the correct word number six <clears throat> papa anna and caleb write letters to sarah what is another way of communicating with someone that is not verbal you can't hear them say it. They're not speaking. Well, I'm thinking about email. Go ahead and write your last sentence and be sure that you use non with the word verbal in your sentence. Now we're going to go to page 100. On page 100, it's kinds of adjectives. So we were talking earlier um, in the week about adverbs that go with verbs. They tell how, when, or where. But adjectives go with nouns, and they describe. So words that describe or tell about nouns are called adjectives. Adjectives can tell what kind, how many, about a noun. Colors are adjectives. Numbers are adjectives. Jasmine loves sweet foods. And you can ask, what kind of foods? Sweet is the adjective that describes the foods. Tara made chocolate cake. 
They underlined cake. That's our noun. What describes the cake? Write it on the line. Number two. Our diet has little sugar. Sugar is the noun. What describes how many or how much sugar? Write the word on the line. Number three, we eat three kinds of vegetables. Kinds is a noun, kinds of vegetables. How many kinds of vegetables? Write it on the line. Number four, we drink many glasses of water daily. Glasses, glasses of water is what we drink. How often do we drink them? Whoops, sorry, I'm going to give you that one because I, I mixed up. I said, we, want, we drink how many glasses of water daily? And it's many glasses. Remember, adjectives tell how many, so I gave you that one. Number five, my mother makes healthful meals. What kind of meals does your mother make? What word describes the meals? Now, six, seven, and eight sentences. I did the first one for you. So number six, I had written, the vegetables are healthful and delicious. Because in the directions it says, combine each pair of sentences. In the new sentence, use two adjectives to describe the same noun. So we have the same noun, the vegetables. And what about the vegetables? The vegetables are healthful and delicious, period. Number seven, the pie was sweet. It was also juicy. The pie was and period. What two words describe the pie? The drink was thick. It was icy, too. The drink was... You finish. And we have one more page we want to look at. Page 102. And this page won't take too long because we're not going to write complete sentences. It says, you can make your ideas clearer by using adverbs that compare. To compare two actions, add ER to most adverbs, use more before an adverb that ends in LY. To compare more than two actions, three or more, we add EST to most adverbs or use most before an adverb that ends in L-Y. So let's look at the incorrect adverb form here. Mary will arrive soonest than Ellen. We're only comparing two, so we should be using sooner or more soon. More soon sounds kind of silly, so instead we will say, Mary will arrive sooner than Ellen. The next sentence is incorrect. The gray kitten acts the more lively of all the cats. When we're talking about all the cats, that's more than two. So if it's more than two, we're going to use most or EST. You can go up into your directions and underline this to remind yourself. So instead, it should say, the gray kitten acts the most lively of all the cats. We wouldn't say liveliest, liveliest. That, that's an L-Y, so we should use most lively. Let's look at number one. Ellen ran to the barn faster than Mary or fastest than Mary. Write just the word that you think is correct on the line. We're comparing two. Number two. Mary climbed the ladder quickly than Ellen, or Mary climbed the ladder more quickly than Ellen. What should we use? Write it on the line. Number three. The white kitten moved slower of all the kittens, 
or slowest of all the kittens. Number four, the gray kitten cried louder than the white kitten. The gray kitten cried loudest than the white kitten. We're comparing two, the gray kitten and the white kitten. So ER or more, go back up in the directions if you need to. Mary played with the kittens carefullyer than Ellen did. Um, carefully, let's see. Mary played with the kittens most carefully than Ellen did. Mary played with the kittens more carefully than Ellen did. Choose the correct form. We're comparing two people. So check in your directions if you need to. All right. I hope you have a good rest of the day. In religion, I want you to finish working on that Easter basket. Send me a picture of it when you're finished. And then find some place where you can hang it to decorate for Easter. And um, I would also like you to um, work a little bit on your social studies project. That is not due until Tuesday, but if you finish it early, you can send me a couple of pictures of it so that I can take a look and see how you've done and um, put a grade in my grade book. So keep up the good work. I miss you all very much. And a little bit later, we're going to talk about setting up a Zoom time. So think about what day would work best and what time. I'm hoping that maybe Friday morning, maybe around 10 o'clock. Is everyone up and moving at 10 o'clock? So I'll send a letter out, an email out, to ask you and your parents. So think about when you'd like to Zoom with your classmates. Bye-bye.